Hi there, I'm Amanda. Welcome back to Five Minutes Cantonese. 大家好，我系 Amanda， 欢迎收睇五分钟广东话。Today, let's focus on only one word. 车，车。Let's get started. First of all, remember in our previous lesson, we focus on the English word to stop. To stop in English has several meanings, which express differently in Cantonese. This time is the other way round. Te in Cantonese has several meanings, which express differently in English. So, first of all, do you know the most common meaning of te? Right. Remember, in our very early lesson, we have talked about the transportation. So, te actually means car or vehicle. I'm not sure if you realize if you have some Cantonese friends or friends' parents who might not speak English perfectly. For example, if this old man want to ask where is your motorbike, he might say where is your car. So it might confuse you. So why would this happen? Because in Cantonese, te means car or vehicle. So how do you say motorbike and Right in Cantonese, right. Din dan te, din dan te. How about bicycle? Right. Dan te, dan te. You see, it consists of the word te, even train and tram. Also consists of the word te, train. For te, for te. Tram, din te, din te. So basically, for most of the vehicle, we have the word te. So for the name of the common vehicle, let's refer back to this lesson today. Let's focus on some verb. For example, how to say to change, no matter is bus, train, or metro. We say, jun te. Jun te. How about to park? So the verb is to park. Pa. However, no matter is train, car, or bus, we all say pa te. Pa te. Remember how to say car park. Right, we just learned in our previous lesson. Ting te chang. Ting te chang. How about garage? Te form. Te form, which means the room for the car. But pay attention to the tone of the room. Remember how to say bedroom. So form, so form, so form, turn two, but for garage, te form, te form, which is turn four. Remember how to say to drive. Da te, da te. How about car crash? Jong te, jong te. Remember how to say traffic jam. Sang te, sang te. Let's learn some more useful vocabularies. How to say driving license? Te. Pi, te pi. For example, if you want to ask, do you have driving license? So how do you ask? Right, easy. You, nei, to have. Yao, do not have. Mo, nei, yao mo. Driving license, te pi. And then we can add the ending word ah、uh, in the end. Nei yao mo te pi ya. Nei yao mo te pi ya. Do you know how to say sewing machine in Cantonese? It's very interesting. 
we call sewing machine. 一车，一车 literally clothing vehicle. 一车 So how to say to sew the clothing with sewing machine? In Cantonese, only two words. 车上，车上，车 means to sew with sewing machine. 上 means clothing. So, how to say? For example, um,、mm, I sew this dress by myself with sewing machine. It's a bit complicated. Let's take a look. I, 我 and then by myself, 自己自己 and then to sew with sewing machine, 车 this dress. 呢条裙，我自己车呢条裙。Or if you want to use passive voice， 呢条裙 is 系 myself， 我自己 ，and then so 车 ，we will add the word 嘅 after。呢条裙系我自己车嘅，呢条裙系我自己车嘅。I would say the second one is more common, but if it's too complicated for you, you can just use the first expression. 我自己车呢条裙。Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this lesson today. If you want to learn Cantonese with me, please subscribe. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. If you want more worksheets and supplementary audio exercise, please please support my Patreon page. See you next time. 拜拜，哈吉。